Art printables are a great digital product to sell and you can create them even if you're not a designer. Today I'm going to show you how to create art printables that you can sell online to make passive income even if you're not a designer and have no art skills. We're going to make this in Canva and we're going to source our creative commercial use items from Creative Market. I love Creative Market because some of the best products are on here, some of the greatest designs that I found, and it is super easy to purchase a commercial license which you will need if you're going to use these in designs that you sell. It is really easy to buy artwork to use in your printables and other digital products, but you do need to purchase a commercial license to do so. I am going to be making an art printable that is for a nursery because I am pregnant and that is on my mind lately, so I'm going to make some products around this stage of life. So I've selected two different watercolor bear collections from artists that are selling on Creative Market, and I just select the commercial license options then I add to cart and then I can go and view the cart and see my two different items with both commercial license so that means I can sell what I make with these after you complete the purchase on creative market you can then click download you will download and unzip the file and then upload it to canva so you can use the elements in a design on canva which is what we're going to use to create our art printable the first thing we'll do in canva is to create a design and then we will go to custom size select inches and select 8 by 10 that's a very common art printable wall art size you can look up all the different sizes for wall art most people do include multiple sizes and I will show you how to do that at the end. Now we have our blank canvas artboard that is where we are going to create our design and when we go over to the left sidebar and click uploads we'll see all the different elements that we just purchased that we've uploaded and if you need to upload more you just go to upload media, go to device and then find it in your files and upload it by opening those files. While those are fully uploading on my Canva on my internet I am going to go ahead and get started on this art printable so I'm going to select one of the bears that I just uploaded and use that for the base of my design. Adding it to your design is super easy. You just literally click on the small thumbnail image on the left sidebar and to delete it, you would just click on the image that you added and then hit the delete button or you can go up to the little trash can in the top menu on the far right. Next, I decided to add some text. So I selected text from the left sidebar and then clicked add a heading so that I had some text to work with at the bottom and then just added a little phrase, follow your dreams. Then I played around with the placement of the text along with the fonts. The great thing about Canva is that you can select from a number of different fonts and if you have the pro version, which I do, you can select so many different options. You can really play around with this and find something that you love. And as you can see, that's what I did here until I just found a font that I liked enough to go with and decided to use that. Then I did play around with the placement of the bear and changed the color of the font because I knew that this was going to be a more muted nursery print rather than something bright and in your face. So I wanted something that was a little bit more subtle. So I went with a blue. You can definitely play around with things as you go, but it always helps to kind of have an end user in mind and an end theme and color scheme and kind of an idea of what you want in the end. So the next thing I did was add another element, which was the balloon with the little moon. That was the main goal of this particular print was to have a little bear floating away. And once you have multiple elements, you're going to want to click on one and either move it forward or backward so they overlap in the way that you want your final design to look. And of course, you can resize so that they make sense together. To do that with Canva, it's super easy. You just click on an element and you use the edges to drag and resize. You can also select multiple items at once and then drag and resize them both together so that it scales with your design, which is very helpful when you're doing something like an art printable or a wall art type design. The level of complexity of your design is really up to you. You could do something simple like this. Minimal wall art can often really sell and for little kids, for nursery type stuff, it works really well but I knew that I wanted to add a couple more elements so I decided to play around with adding clouds and stars and things like that and repositioning them in the background so that it gave a little more depth to this design. You can really play around a lot with where things are and how they relate to each other in your design. You can move things around and move them in different directions with Canva. It's really awesome. It's so easy with the drag and drop. I've sped this up a lot so you don't have to watch me do all of my changes, but I finally got to the point where I liked my design and was ready for the next elements. 
So I decided what this needed was some stars in the upper left corner of my design. So I added one of the star elements from my clip art pack and then I decided to do multiple of those stars. So to create a duplicate of the star, I just clicked on the actual element and then you can either copy and paste with your keyboard shortcuts or go up to the top right corner in the head menu and click the little duplicate sign and then that will create a copy of the element that you've selected. That is the basics of how to create a wall art printable in Canva with elements that you've purchased from somewhere like Creative Market. The final step in this process is to save your design. The problem with Canva is that they do not save PNGs or JPEGs in 300 DPI, which is the best resolution for something but you can get that resolution with a PDF. So I always select PDF print. It gives you the highest possible resolution, DPI 300 for your designs. This makes sure your file is really high quality and after you've downloaded it, you can convert it to a PNG and keep that same resolution. So that's what I do and I will show you how I do that on my computer and leave links down below in case you need a converter on your computer as well. To do this on a Mac, you would just open up the PDF and then go up to file and preview and export. So you will export instead of a PDF and you will change the format to a PNG. Then down here where it says resolution, make sure it says 300 and pixels per inch is selected. That way your file will be 300 DPI, which means it will be really good for printing. And even if they're using that PNG file instead of the PDF, they are going to get a nice crisp clear print when they go to print it at home. So you're gonna definitely wanna make sure that that is the case because otherwise Canva will just export a PNG at like 96 DPI and it's not gonna print as well as something that is 300 DPI. So now you have an eight by 10 in both PDF and PNG. So to resize, to make the different sizes of your art printable, if you have Canva Pro, you can just go up to the menu that says resize and then type in the new size of the artboard that you want. So in this case, four by six. It will automatically recreate a new size that is four by six and copy over all of your items. Then you can play around with the sizing to make sure that it looks good in a four by six as well as an eight by 10. You can also just create a new four by six custom size artboard in Canva and then copy and paste all your elements over. That is the manual workaround. If you have the free version of Canva and you're not paying for the pro version, the resize function is only in the pro version, which is why you can see me using it. However, if you're going to be creating printables, I would highly recommend just springing for Canva Pro because it's definitely worth it. The extra tools do speed up your processes a lot and you're able to knock out multiple sizes and create art printables like this one very quickly and then sell them on sites like Etsy and Shopify for passive income.